you're gonna come with me to Verve Coffee Roasters because they have a pretty decent matcha and I found out that they have one of my favorite plant milks and they're carrying it in all of their locations, Tash Pistachio Milk. I have to film a little campaign for them today, just a story campaign, so I figured I would bring you with me because it's a really beautiful cafe and then we're gonna get lunch. Well, I think this is my prettiest one yet. It's a little lopsided, but that's okay. <laughs> it's a um, citrus fern. Hi, Beans. It is an exciting, busy day today. First of all, happy Tuesday. It is February 22nd, 2022. Um, I have some exciting news I can finally share. A couple vlogs ago, I shared that there was something that was possibly the highlight of my career so far. Something I could have only imagined back then. I'm on the create and cultivate 100 list under the health and wellness category and oh my god, I I found it so hard to believe even when I was at the shoot. I was like, I can't believe I'm here. This is crazy. If you're not familiar, basically it is a list of 100 nominees. They're all women and there's 10 categories, 10 women in each category and it's basically just to recognize people who have done something impactful or people who are up and coming in the space and I'm on it. I have to post my photos on Instagram right now, so it feels really real, but I haven't even gone through the full list yet. I only knew the nominees that were in my category, but I wanna go through and see who some of these other nominees are. Definitely gonna be an incredible group of women. <sighs> Crazy. Years ago, I met someone who was a photographer for Create and Cultivate, and she told me all about it, and she was like, hey, you should totally reach out. You should be at one of their events. You should be one of these people. I think this might have been like four or five years ago at this point, and I was like, there's no way. There's no way. But I will follow them because I love all their content. Um, I had been to one of their events in New York, and God, I just, I love everything that they're all about. The list came out that year, and I remember thinking to myself, wow, it would be really cool if I was on that list. But I kind of forgot about it. It was a goal, and I just didn't really think it would ever happen. But here we are. I cannot tell you how in shock I was when I got the email. This would have been last year, I think in November. I can't believe it's real. But I just want to say a big thank you because I obviously wouldn't be able to do this without you. I would have no platform without you guys. And I am so, so grateful. Let me show you the pictures. I felt really out of my element because if you saw that vlog, you may remember I was in blue, which is not a color I usually wear. Let me show you how the pictures turned out. Here's the final look and then this shot and then all of the little graphics I'm gonna post it's so surreal also I have to say create and cultivate does like the most amazing design <laughs> everything they post is always so aesthetic but god this is crazy I posted it it feels real it's and a quick outfit change because it is freezing in LA right now and we were headed to a podcast interview with my friend Ariel um goodness <laughs> it's a busy day we are running late we gotta go This is J1 with Sesame, Sesame the Rescue. Look at you. Guys, this is Sesame. Look at his little freckle. Sweetest little rescue ever. Oh. Sesame's first visit. Hey Sesame, I had a tahini cookie today. <laughs> but don't worry, it wasn't made of you. you can, oh, see, now you're shaking because you're like, tahini. Sesame got his first vaccine today. He did so good. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's 10.45 and I just woke up today. 
I just, who am I? And how do people do this every day? I feel like the day is almost over, but I realize I haven't been vlogging because I've just been so wrapped up in Sesame, all things Sesame. Um, to give you a little recap or a formal introduction, Sesame has been adopted and my friend Rachel, who also does my nails and is amazing um, with nails, she was fostering him from an organization here called Lux Paws in LA. And she was like, hey, I am fostering this cat. Do you want to adopt him? And I met him, he was the sweetest thing ever. And now he has a forever home. So he's still adjusting, he's a little bit timid. He loves to like kind of burrow under things in blankets, under the couch. But if you pull him out, he's great about it. Like he will eventually start to roam and he's getting there. It's only been, I think two days. So let me um, see if I can pull him out of the covers. Say hi vlog. Sesame is a few months old and he has the cutest little birthmark that kind of looks like a sesame seed. Who's that handsome boy? Who's that handsome boy? <laughs> so I'm gonna let him go back into hiding, but that's sesame. I don't know if anyone will remember, but I fostered a couple cats during peak quarantine times. And prior to COVID, I actually tried to adopt a cat and it got so far to the stage that, you know, I had a carrier, I bought all the supplies, it was ready to go. And then, unfortunately, because of the way that the nonprofit handled things, um, they decided that they would rather keep the cat and use it for publicity. So that was really a bummer, and it kind of turned me off from adoption because I honestly felt like it was a pretty, uh, not traumatizing, but a very like heartbreaking process to get so excited and then to be let down. Um, and then obviously moving, I wanted to just wait. And I cannot reiterate enough, guys, if you are thinking about bringing a furry friend into your life, please, please adopt a rescue of some kind. Adoption saves lives, and there are so many out there that need homes. Adopt, don't shop. Sesame's food just came in and it's so cute. The box is adorable. It's got like little cats on it. I did a little bit of research because I wanted to find something um, just not dry food. I really don't believe in dry food because I feel like wet food is the best for cats. Basically, dry food can cause a lot of problems for cats, um, especially sort of like the mainstream brands that have been sold for years and it's just like really not great for cats or dogs. This one's really cool. You store it cold and it's real food. It is not vegan. Cats cannot be vegan. I feel like it's not vegan to try to force your cat to be vegan because that is animal cruelty. You have to take care of pets as they need to be cared for and it's not you eating the food, it's the cat. So I guess just to put that out there, if you feel uncomfortable getting a cat because you don't want to feed it non-vegan food, probably just don't get a cat. This is not food, this is litter, but it's silica litter, which I've never tried before. I just thought it looked interesting and supposedly this would be really good for cats, so we'll see how he likes it. Um, I feel like that's the most important thing with cats is making sure that they like their litter. The rest of the food came frozen slash refrigerated like with a cold pack, so I love that because I feel like it means it's a real food. Um, so I'm going to pop that in the fridge and then it's going to thaw and we can serve it to sesame. Sesame versus the treat. I don't think he really likes this one. Alright, we tried. He definitely likes the food. Yay. Okay, so this is a win. My hair is really dirty, so it's in a braid, but we are heading to the Create and Cultivate little cocktail party, um, which will be fun. First, we have a little dinner reservation. So I'm in my all white and little heels today. I'm wearing black. We're back home with sweet sesame. 
it's past my bedtime, but wow, that's like the first time I've been to an event in a long, long time and actually dressed up. My hair was greasy, so I ended up just wearing it in a braid and honestly felt weird. It made me realize that I feel like having my long hair all over me is like a bit of a security blanket. <laughs> um, but really cool event. Uh, my manager was there and got to meet some of the other nominees, so that was really cool. <sighs> it's not even 10 yet, guys. And I'm like... Woo, what a night, I'm so exhausted. <laughs> like, I'm such a grandma, I don't even know. Oh, I'm so tired. Ooh, for my jammies, uh, my jam jam. I'm gonna wear this set that I got from Daring Foods. <laughs> it was just like a thank you gift that they sent to all of their partners this year. And I love working with them and I love their chicken, but they're vegan chicken, but um, they sent some really cute sweats, which is great because it's actually been chilly as fuck in LA. Um, it is warming up now though. Like it's starting to feel like summer some days now, but anyway, they sent some sweats and I always sleep very warm and bundled because I literally am always cold, especially when I sleep. So let me put them on and I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna do my skincare. <sighs> I've been falling asleep with my makeup on a lot lately and it feels like shit. Like it's just like, I hate the feeling of waking up and being like, oh no, like I did it again. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to me. I just I never ever used to do that and when I used to drink and use all that stuff I would still somehow always do my skincare and I'd be so proud of it I'd be like, you know, I am behaving like a degenerate, but I got my skincare done <laughs> Anyway, okay off topic, but um, let's get into pajamas We also left with the craziest gift bag It is so heavy <laughs> i'm gonna like unload it all and then show you huge goodie bag a lot of these are from the founders like some of the nominees are founders and these are their products as well so really really cool i'm very excited about this candle because i love this candle and we ran out so thank you good morning beans i have such a fun update for you i'm about to go ahead to pick something up something i've been teasing for a very long time and I'm just gonna get real with you about the process. I'll update you in a second, but first, let's go grab them. This is how everything turned out. I cannot believe I am holding it in my hands. This has been such a long process, but obviously so rewarding, and this is it. So it's two crew neck sweatshirts. Both are embroidered. It says human bean on the pink one and matcha on the green one, of course. And then I also have a cap. This one comes in just one color and it just says human bean on it. It's like a dad baseball cap. Sweatshirts were locally dyed in LA and they're custom dyed and then and embroidered also in LA. And based on feedback from you guys, I ended up going with a higher quality sweatshirt because I was worried, I didn't want to produce like a cheap, thin and flimsy sweater that like you wouldn't want to hang on to for a long time. So the price is a little bit more up there, which I was honestly really torn about, but I just wanted to make something that was worth it for you guys, you know? Now the sweatshirts are a little bit of an oversized fit. We've got sleeves like this, and I'm gonna say right now that I'm gonna be launching them in April. I will announce a date on YouTube and on Instagram, a solid date and time, because I know I've been getting questions Honestly, it's just been taking so much longer than I expected. Thank you so much for your patience with this merch. I have been probably the most impatient, believe it or not, because I've just been excited and I wanted to get it out there for you. But it started with, honestly, just a lack of supplies in the beginning. If you guys remember towards the end of 2021, where there were a lot of just sourcing issues, there were all of like the ships that were docked and the product was not coming off the shore. I'm like not describing this the best way, but hopefully you guys know what I mean. And there just weren't any sweatshirts or blank sweatshirts that we could source. And that was a struggle in itself. So we ended up going for a pricier, higher quality sweatshirt, which I preferred anyway, because I did want to make something good and something that actually felt nice and comfortable to wear. And then we had to hand dye them because, because the blank sweatshirts only came in one color, which was kind of like a light yellow. I think I showed you guys that sweatshirt in one of the earlier vlogs. And then the hats were the first things to be done, but I didn't want to just start with the hats and not put the rest out there because I felt like the sweatshirts would be probably more exciting for most people. And after we got the color right, which took a little bit of back and forth just to get the signature pink and green, um, then it was time to embroider. So right now the rest is being dyed and embroidered, but I have my sample pieces, which is what they're gonna look like. I have to do a little photo shoot and book some time with my photographer so I can get some professional photos up on the site for you guys and then set it up with like Shopify and all of that. It's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I'm not really used to doing, to be honest. Um, so it's gonna take a little bit and as much as I would love to say it's gonna be out so soon, I think I'm gonna conservatively say 
April, which is just a couple weeks from now. Um, but I am so, so excited. To give you guys an idea of pricing, I think it's gonna be around a $75 price range for the sweatshirts because those, those were not cheap to produce. And I'm just being honest with you guys because I know that sometimes it's hard to understand the cost of things when you're buying them, but I'm really not making much off of these sweatshirts and I don't wanna charge more than that because I feel like, I mean, I understand. Nobody wants to pay all that much for sweatshirts. Hopefully next time around, if I produce more of them, I can look for ways to kind of lower my cost a little bit more, but in all honesty, like this was the cheapest that I could make them while also not compromising on quality. And yeah, the margins aren't that great. Like I'm really not gonna be making much off the sweatshirts. However, they are very well made. They're super comfortable and I have been living in them. And the hats, I think they're gonna be priced around maybe $35. So this is just to give you a rough idea um, I have to finalize everything and see. Worldwide shipping will be available. Um, and that's all I can share for now, but I hope you guys are excited because I am so, so excited. <sighs> oh my God, that was a lot of talking. Okay, for the rest of the day, my plan is to start filming a video that I'm gonna work on tomorrow, which is a what I eat in a day on my period. I got my period today, which I'm not happy about. <laughs> um, but I just figured I would kind of film some intro parts before I get in kind of a grumpy mood tomorrow because I don't know about you guys, but my first full day on my period is always the worst. And then I have just a lot of computer work to do for the rest of the day. So that's kind of it. Um, but I'm really excited to give you guys this update. I hope you're as excited as I am. Whew, more details to come. Stay tuned on Instagram especially, because that's where I feel like I tend to announce things first, but I will be sure to announce um, on YouTube as well, so stay tuned. Gonna try something new for dinner today. It's this place called Moon Bowls, and we've driven by it a bunch of times actually and been kind of curious. And then they slid in the DMs and sent a really sweet gift card, so we're gonna try it out. There's an app, so I'm gonna show you, because it's really cool. Um, it's actually not all vegan, but they have a lot of vegan options. Everything is gluten-free though, which makes it easy for me. So uh, we're gonna try it out. Oh, did everybody say it's Korean inspired? Yeah. So I'm doing a custom. I'm going to do brown rice and then the impossible beef, which is like bulgogi. Ooh, they have tofu. I think I'm good with just that. And yeah, they also have like some already existing menu items, which are vegan and gluten-free, but I like to be complicated and DIY. Okay. I have the impossible bulgogi beef bowl with some seaweed, avocado, brown rice, broccoli, and gochujang sauce. And then these are some uh, Korean barbecue cauliflower wings, all gluten-free. Oh my God, Sesame is trying to eat my food. So I took a bite. It's pretty good. The only thing I don't love about it is that I think the rice is kind of seasoned, um, like a, almost like a sushi rice. I feel like it'd be better plain, but it's cool because I've not really had like impossible meat kind of in Asian dishes as much. I stopped by the Japanese grocery store today just for some random things. I was actually looking and hoping for some sakura items. So it's kind of that time of year now, but they didn't really have any. However, found lots of fun things. We have ito and of course. I bought the green tea and also the koicha. Some tofu, just because we always need tofu. Kinako mochi, some rainbow dango, which is like a little bit sweet. Two types of furikake. We have the ochazuke one and just like the regular vegan nori one. This one's cool because it has like rice crackers in it that are crunchy. So love that one. Then we have kanten or like, it's just like agar basically, which I'm gonna use to make um, sakura wagashi. And then we have some brown mochi for soup and hot pot, um, mushrooms, Japanese sweet potatoes, some gyoza that I found. It's gluten-free and vegan, so that was a fun find. And then vegan ramen, this is not gluten-free. And gift strawberries that were on sale. They got smushed on the car right home. But that's what we got today. Oh, and one more thing. It's a crown melon. It was $100. I'm gonna taste test it. Yeah. This is gift fruit as well, so. You can only allow one to grow on each vine, so all of the nutrition just goes to the one fruit. So it's supposed to be sweeter and worth a hundred dollars. <laughs> this is the last thing. It's not really groceries, but we use it for the blowtorch and also for like the little gas stove that I use sometimes. Um, surprisingly hard to find. Like you can't order this online to California. So I think we've got to end the vlog here. I've been out of the habit of uploading vlogs. So I feel like I can't tell if this one's dragging on, but <laughs> I promise I will do more vlogs. Um, 
I got a couple of comments and messages that you guys are missing the vlogs. I've been so focused on just doing more, you know, like produced content, like the trying things video that I just haven't been posting them as often, but I promise I will more soon. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoy the vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in another video soon.